Hey friend, hey, in today's video, we're making a pink digital product website on Shopify. So if you like the way this looks, then keep watching. So you already know we're using Shopify. They do have a dollar your first month. So I would definitely make a Shopify account and then come back to this part right here. We're going to go ahead and click online store and themes and we're going to use a Dawn theme and we're going to um, go ahead and install that. And then we're going to click customize so we can start editing um, the store. I am going to go to Canva to make the logo. I make simple text-based logos for the um, my pre stores. So I named this one Digital Business Acad Academy. So I'm going to make a logo to uh, match the store. And I'm going to position that in the center, the middle. And I'm going to download that as transparent. And I'm going to upload it um, on Shopify. Once downloaded, I upload it from my desktop and I'll click save and I'll blow up the logo, make it bigger. And then I'll click save. And then um, I'll also go back and make sure it's centered. So I'm in the middle on um, the laptop version. It's like, you know, bigger in the middle. And then I'll go back to Canva. We're going to make the banners. I'll put the banner size at the bottom and I'm sticking with pink. And then I search pink glitter for that glitter overlay background. And then I'm going to start adding text to the banner. And then I'm going to get a square frame so I can also upload a photo from Canva. They have free um, photos that you can use um, when you, you know, have a Canva account. So I went ahead and added text to the bottom and I'm going to get a square element for the bottom of the banner. And these are mock-up covers I made myself in Canva for this pre-made website. They're just demo mock-ups edible for my um, clients. And then this is the second banner I'm going to go ahead and make. I'm going to make it black and then I'm going to um, add some money to it. I'm going to turn down the money with the transparent button. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the text from the first banner. We are working smarter, not harder, because that is easier just to um, stick with the same fonts. And I'm going to change the color to pink. Going to go ahead and add another square frame. So this banner is like a, like a community type, you know, banner going to find a um, group of girls on the photo section to add right there to the frame. I'm adding pink stars, change them to pink so they can, you know, uh, match the rest of the banners. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab some shapes, some triangles, make them pink for the corners of the uh, second banner. Now making a third banner, which will be me adding some elements about how, you know, the website can help the uh, customers. Going to go ahead and add some elements. I just searched in whatever I needed, like a... Uh, time, community, money, element, and then um, picture, graphic, and then that's what I use. And I added some text on the bottom just to um, make the banner a little bit better. And I'm going to download the third banner, upload that. Um, the second and the third one, I'm going to upload on Shopify now. Always be sure you adapt the banner to the first image and then um, always hide the words and the buttons and text because that's not needed. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a um, second section, which would be another image banner so I can upload the other banner. I'm going to go ahead and change where it said feature product to best sellers and I'm going to bold that. 
just to um, make it look a little better. This is a free website you can use for uh, free ebook cover mockups. You just scroll to the bottom, click um, free book mockup creator, and then you'll go ahead and pick which one you, you, you want to use. Click use template, and then they'll send you an email so you can um, download your free template. It takes a while, just so you're aware, but yeah. Um, once it's ready, you'll click download there, but it'll have to go to your email, and then it looks like that. And then to add actual digital products, if you have like actual guides, planners, whatever you got, you'll have to go to the sales channel app and download a digital app on the Shopify app store. If you actually want to add your digital products, which I have other tutorials, if you need, check the description. But yeah, and I'm just adding the demo mockups for my pre-made digital product store. Link in the description if you want to view the store. And always um, unmark this is a physical product because it's not, it's a digital product. You know, once you actually have like the app downloaded. Um, it makes more sense. Now I'm going to go ahead and create another digital product for the store. I'm just going to keep it pink with the pink glitter. I'm going to add the iPad mock-up. Then I'm going to add my um, ebook cover demo photo in the mock-up. I'm going to download that and add that as well to Shopify. So I'm going to go back to online store themes, click customize, and this is what it's looking like so far. I want to go ahead and um, I already did the enable switch. Um, I'm sorry, enable swipe on my on mobile. So I went ahead and did that. And this is pretty much what it's going to look like. I'm also going to um, change the theme color at the top for the header and the footer. I'm going to make that pink as well. So the website flows together. Now I'm going to add text at the top for like a special discount code. And this is pretty much what the website um, looks like. You can click the link in the description if you want to view this website. It is for sale. I can even preload it with resellable digital products. If not, then you can, I can just, you know, have the mockups added. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.